here I am, waiting on Brother Joe to come talk to us about some of these killer things we have at the hardware store. Um, Brother Joe, you coming? Um, wait a minute. What is that, Brother Joe? This is Fire Ant Killer. No, no, no. It's We're the not. fun way to do it. No, no, no. <laughs> Besides being dangerous, extremely dangerous, and it'll blow your arms off, it's kind of illegal, too. So we Don't kill fire can't ants. be doing that. Don't kill fire ants like this. Do not. Besides, there's much better ways, things that actually work. I'm going to set this over here. That is. You going to tell us about it? Yep. Here we are at Hardware on the Square in St. Augustine this morning. And today we're talking about fire ant control. Do not pour gas in the fire ant mound. It's bad, bad, bad. I've heard people say that's their way to kill them. They pour ant, they and then set it on fire. Have you seen where? Don't do that. Don't pour gas. Don't set it on fire. Bad, bad. Okay. Now we know how not to do it. Let's talk about ways to kill fire ants. First, there are products that you can use. I don't have it here on the table because it's a big bag. But you get a big bag and you can broadcast it in your yard. And that works. You can use over and out. You can use Spectricide. There's so many different products you can use. That's kind of like the granules you put out with one of them spreader things. Right. Right. Take okay. a spreader. Sorry, I want to interrupt you no right. more. Sorry. I promise. Take it, put it in a spreader, walk yeah. around, yeah, spread like it that. all over your yard. This is and it. it works. It works. But guess what? If you use the same product year after year, fire ants are tough. And they're and they become immune. To that poison so don't use the same product every time switch it up that's why here at the hardware store we work on making sure we don't keep the same product we change it out so that the ants in our area don't get used to the same thing every time here's another product that people really like uh, it's demon that's demon. demon yeah demon we carry the cypher brand but it's the same product. You take one of these little, there's four pouches in here. You take one of these little pouches, you drop it in a gallon of water. It works really good. You can use one of those pump up sprayers, spray it on the mound, it works really good. These products like this, Bayer makes a good one, Cutter makes a good one. It hooks to your water hose. Now, <coughs> I'm telling you, this works good. And not only does it kill fire ants, it kills mosquitoes and other things in your yard. It it just it it and it also controls grubs. And if you control the grubs, guess what you do? You also control the moles in your yard. Hmm. That's what the moles are after, is those grubs. So this works good. These two brands, they work good. This right here is Amdro. You see this one says fire ant bait. Fire ant bait. And this one says ant block. Fire ants. This works really good. Now on all of these products, do you know what the key to these products are? There's all the, there's Amdro, there's Orthene, there's bingo all different kind of products like this and it's to treat a mound but the prop the most important thing to, to remember is you have to read the directions it will tell you exactly how this product is designed to work and if you use it according to the directions it works i have people come in all the time this didn't kill an ant at all i put it out it didn't work at all and you pick up the box, you read it, and you say, did you follow these directions? They said, no, I just put it out. And it won't work. So you have to make sure you do that, follow the directions. This is called Ant Block. 
This doesn't work on fire ants at all. It doesn't kill them. It doesn't keep them away. Nothing. This is not a fire ant product. It is for those um, those carpenter ants. This works good. And for those teeny little sugar ants that get in your house. They aren't fire ants. They don't fight you. But they are ants that just aggravate you. This works for that. This doesn't work for those. Two different things. Two different kind of ants. One and two. Some people don't like to put poison out. They don't want to hurt their animals and they got chickens and they don't want the chickens scratching this and eating it and you know getting in their eggs and all kinds of stuff. So what can you do? Diatomaceous earth. Dirt? Dirt. Diatomaceous earth. It is a all natural, all kind of exoskeleton killer. And it works good on fire ants as well because fire ants have an exoskeleton. When they crawl through it, it cuts them and they die. So this is an all natural way to... I saw somebody take a bite of that one time. Put a spoon of that in their mouth. You can. It won't hurt you at all. Mm. We aren't exoskeletons. Oh. We have... I'm still not going to eat it. We have skeletons on the inside. I'm not going to eat it either. Okay. I like things that taste good. I wonder if that tastes good. No. Can you try and see? Oh. You can put it in your chicken feed. And oh. it deworms your chickens. Oh. Hmm. There's all kinds of things. This is really good for fleas. You put it in your dog's bed and they sleep on it. It works good. It kills fleas. Kill the dogs like to roll in it. And it'll take the fleas right off of them. This has all kinds of uses. But it's really good if you are afraid of poison, don't want to put poison out. It's called diatomaceous earth, uh, and you can get it right here at the hardware store. So we have, if you have a fire ant problem, we are the place to go. If you have a question about fire ants, we will help you with that. Come to the hardware store, hardwareonthesquare.com. Come visit us right here on the square in St. Augustine. See you how next many, time. How many legs does an ant have? They have six. Okay. What if one falls off? They have five.